Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates, and welcome back to my channel! In today's video, we will build a habitat for the meerkats in the Desert Adventure Park. We are finally back to this zoo after adding all of the animals from the Twilight Pack and also a new red deer to the Elm Hill City Zoo. It is finally time to go back here. And I am so happy because I wanted to build for the meerkats for such a long time. This is actually the second time that I'm building for them here on YouTube. But the last time was when they were added to the game. So it was right after the Africa pack was released. And it was so, so long ago and I still haven't got a chance to build for them once more. I am sure that some of the original uh, subscribers of my channel remember that habitat. Uh, we've built a desert. Desert, desert house in the Elm Hill City Zoo and then we added the meerkats so it will be nice for you guys to see how much I improved in this game what I was able to learn because let me just tell you that this habitat will be so so much better than the one that we added to the Elm Hill City Zoo don't get me wrong I still like the, that one I have a lot of sentiment from my first builds on YouTube uh, but this one of Obviously, it will be so much better not only because I got new skills and I knew know how to build better but also we were given so many new uh, and exciting like uh, building pieces and different plants so that I am able to make those habitats look even better Okay, so the plan for today's habitats is to build an outer and inner section for the meerkats. The inner section will be a round like African hut that we are often adding in the zoo in different places. And after that, I went on to do like a background, back wall, rock formation or however you want to call it. In the back of the habitat, this will be the back wall, the back barrier that just looks really nice. This is using the same technique as we did for the wombats in the Elm Hill City Zoo and I thought it just made sense to use it once more for the meerkats. I really love how it looks and I hope you guys will like it as, as well and you won't get upset that I am using something that we used recently in different habitats. When I was building for the wombats I actually thought that this would look so so cool for the meerkats. I am also using the same uh, like glass barriers at the front where the guests will have a look to the habitats and as we did for the wombats because I love them so much. This may be a bit similar to that habitat but still it will have more of this like deserty look and of course it will be more suited for our meerkats. I will also cover the path and the ground in the front of the habitat with the concrete pieces and I will do some custom planters just to make it look a bit more like interesting uh, in the places where the guests will just stand and watch the little meerkats. While we are doing all that, let me have a look on my list of the things that I wanted to tell you guys today. And the first thing on my list is to say thank you. Yeah, thank you guys for 12,000 subscribers. This is again mind-blowing. I cannot believe how fast the channel has been growing recently. You guys really love the new enclosures for from the Elm Hill City Zoo using the Twilight animals. I mean the bat enclosure, the raccoon enclosure, the red deer. They got so many views, so many positive comments, feedback and so many new people joined because of them. So thank you for that. Thank you for all the likes or the views or the uh, comments you guys are really really amazing so yeah this really means the world to me and also one more thing that I wanted to tell you is that I get more and more of those comments from you guys that you enjoy my videos because of not only what I create in here but also because of my personality which is just like oh my god really <laughs> like I cannot believe that because I don't consider myself like a very like entertaining person or anything. So you telling me that this is just, you know, means the world to me again. Uh, so I am so, so glad that you like, you, you guys just like me. I am likable. You like my personality. This means 
such just great like this is great thank you uh, and also so many people said that i have a very relaxing voice and it's really nice to you know just sit and listen to me so really uh, also this means the world to me given that at the beginning of my youtube career i tend to get a lot of bad comments about my voice, about my accent and stuff like that. Uh, so I was also able to um, improve a lot in this field and I am so glad that you guys notice it that so many people say that my voice is really nice to listen to. So this is just amazing another thing. So thank you for that as well. And yeah, of course, a lot of people are commenting on my accent, which is also like very strange to me because what is my accent i don't have any accent i guess this is just a mixture of i don't know different accents uh and yeah just polish guy trying to uh you know talk in english for 20 to 30 minutes <laughs> and be entertaining and you guys like it so this means the world Okay, so uh, let's go back to the to the video for a while because there were some new things appearing in the habitat and then we'll go back to my list of things that I wanted to tell you guys. And so as you can, can see, there was something weird appearing in the enclosure and this is the termite mode or mode, something like that. Uh, so obviously this is an enrichment item for the giant uh, anteater, the meerkats cannot use it, but but I've seen so many of those termite modes uh, in the meerkat habitats. The meerkat just use them uh, as those, you know, uh, high viewing points. Because if don't, if you don't know, uh, in the uh, herd or in a group of meerkats, there is always one meerkat that is, uh, you know, climbing to the highest point it can, and is like a sort of like a guard of the whole group. It is always watching if there are no, you know. If there's no danger there's no snakes there's no birds and if it, something you know unsettling is happening it just alarms the whole group and they all run for safety uh, so they need the high, those high high points because this is how they feel the most secure and more natural so I was for sure uh, focused on giving them those high points points and so on and for example in Berlin Zoo they have this termite mount in there and it looks amazing so I also wanted to add it in here and also I added a lot of smaller rocks around it to make it look a bit like a small like I don't know heel or something like that. I will create other one with the savanna rocks and also those temple pieces because those are the temple pieces that I'm using here. We've used those uh, throughout the zoo in several enclosures and I really like the look of them. Them. This is what I saw in one of my good friends video leader. I am often giving him shout outs in my videos because I just think he is brilliant and I hope he doesn't mind that I'm taking some ideas from him. But I always try to, you know, sh give shout outs to the people's pe people's people <laughs> that I am, uh, you know, taking some ideas from. And I always feel so like uh, amazing that people always, different content creators, they give me those shout outs that they have something from me, that they saw something in my videos. So thank you for that because I am seeing more and more of those things. Uh, so yeah, big thanks to my fellow content creators. I will of course add a lot of different uh, small stones and pebbles. And and I was a bit like not sure if I should add a bit of foliage to this habitat. I decided to do so, but those will be only like dry out grasses and stuff like that. Uh, I saw some uh, habitats from the meerkats that actually had some foliage, like a very basic one. Uh, but uh, most of them obviously are is just like sand and rocks. Those guys love to dig. And that's why uh, they probably, you know, destroy all of the plants that are in their habitats. What I also did was to create those little birch dead trees from those little branches from the Euro pack. I really love them. I must say that they look amazing in this habitat. So I was so happy that I came up with this idea because I think it gave, you know, different texture and different like 
high variation to this habitat. The meerkats would actually be able to climb them in real life. They can climb like smaller trees and stuff like that. So it would be amazing to see them using those. Okay, but let's go back to my list of things that I wanted to tell you. Uh, so the second thing is uh, that tomorrow, uh, from the time that I am posting this video, I'll be posting it probably on Friday. So tomorrow will be uh, the premiere of the second episode of my collaboration with Leader, Zoof and me. And this is Zoof's time to build and I can already tell you that this build is so mind-blowing, it is so good, you guys don't want to miss it. Uh, I am again in the video, uh, we decided to, uh, whenever we can, we will always be in each other's videos, like, you know, the, per the person who builds stuff is sort of, you know, giving us a tour and we are, the people who didn't build, uh, are giving their, you know, honest first time impressions of the builds. Uh, we really work well together. I think the videos are quite funny. Uh, like after watching the first video, I was like, do I really sound like this? Like, <laughs> I was a bit like, why? I am all the time saying, oh, yeah, right. Really? <laughs> this is the whole video. Like even Leader did this like funny like editing thing at the end of the video when he was just explaining something. I now again said, really? And he has said just, yeah. <laughs> it's, this was so funny to me. And yeah, I really need to focus on my <laughs> reactions to things. But yeah, just to let you guys know, tomorrow will be a new video, a really amazing one, uh, really also funny one, I think like. So you don't want to miss it. Of course, I will post it everywhere on my socials. Uh, and then this will be my time to build. So uh, I will go and build my first habitat in the Valby City Zoo. And just to let you know, because I saw some questions about this, uh, I won't be doing a speed build. This will be the first time for a very long time for me uh, in Planet Zoo video that I won't do a speed build. I will uh, build the ha entire habitat of the camera and then we will do a tour and the reaction of Leader and Zoof. Uh, so I hope you guys don't mind it. We are doing this because we are focusing really on this hyper realism and those speed builds will be so, so long. We made a decision to drop those videos every two weeks because everyone wants to really focus on the backstage stuff and so on and not stress about the time. Uh, so uh, just because of that and just because we want to be present, like three of us in most of those videos, uh, we will do the tour and we will do the reactions. And uh, if you like, guys would like to ask me for example if how something is built how i did certain things you can always do it in the comments of those videos and i will explain everything so don't you worry uh, you will get everything that i've built there i already am planning my stuff i just got the file from zoof because he finished his uh, and i will be like beginning my build at the beginning of next week so i am super excited about this so as you guys can see we basically finished the outside part of the habitat so i added also a burrow i just blended it a bit with uh, different you know rocks and foliage uh, added some de details such as decals like those sandy decals so it looks like the meerkats are really digging in there i have also built like this metal guard for the little palm tree that we have in there this is something that i saw in on one of the reference pictures this is meant to be preventing the meerkats from climbing on the palm tree uh, and also destroying the roots while digging next to it uh, and then i started to work on our building on the inner section so uh, I added the doors for the meerkats to go inside of there I added the back wall like a background of the intersection I added the door for the keepers because they need to go in there somewhere and uh, I also started to work on the inside part uh, later on I will also do the windows so the guests can look inside and I will also do something really fun uh, for the meerkats I mean this won't be usable at all but 
I was inspired by the Miracle Habitat in Warsaw Zoo that I've recently uh, visited. I was it was over the summer, and in the indoor area of the uh, Miracats in Warsaw Zoo, they have a lot of climbing uh, like formations, climbing frames that they can use, and they are actually using those. So it's quite a shame that they cannot use them in Planet Zoo. But I still wanted to add them, uh, add something like this in here, and I will also add those like hanging I don't know bamboo thingy so they can jump on it and swing on it this is something also inspired by Warsaw Zoo they were playing on it so uh, just a fun little detail Oh my god, I am talking so much today. I just had so much more that I wanted to tell you guys in this video and I already can tell that I won't make it because of the time. Uh, but quickly, like seeing my list, there are still like two things that I definitely wanted to tell you. The first thing is my visit to the Copenhagen Zoo that I visited over the last weekend. I uh, also uh, posted the tour around this zoo on my Instagram account. If you haven't seen it, it is saved in the uh, highlighted stories on my profile. The link is down in the description if you are not following on me on Instagram. Uh, you guys always love those tours. Uh, I have so many reactions, so many uh, like messages uh, saying that you really appreciate that because uh, you know it gives you uh, motivation and also inspiration to build in Planet Zoo. So thank you. I also got some maybe not too positive <laughs> feedback uh, for this. Basically. As always, there are some people who are not big fans of the Zeus in general, and it's totally okay, you are entitled to your own opinion, I just, you know, I knew that something like this could happen, people have different opinions and this is totally fine, this is how this world works, doesn't it? So yeah, in the future you can expect more of those whenever I will be in different zoos uh, when I am visiting some, you know, different places. I definitely want to go to more of the Polish zoos because I still haven't been to, for example, Wood Zoo or Poznań Zoo. This would be just amazing to see them. Uh, so maybe over the summer I will have a chance to do that. And the other thing that I wanted to tell you uh, was to talk about my work, my everyday, like, work because uh, I have so many questions about this. You guys are getting more and more like interested in my like personal life, what I do besides basically playing those games and so on. And why a while ago I made a decision not to talk too much about my private stuff here because I think that those videos are about you know Planet Zoo, Prehistoric Kingdom, or. Jurassic World Evolution 2. Not me, personally. Not my private life that I don't think is too interesting. Uh, but yeah, let me just tell you that I have such a, such a bad time at work right now. I mean, it's not bad, but it's very, like, very busy. I am very tired with work right now, so uh, that's why there are not too many uploads uh, this week. We just had the Jurassic World Evolution 2 video coming out, which basically flopped a bit and I was a bit like, I don't know, overworked and also disappointed by that. It's fine, I mean, it's totally fine. I know that some videos are doing good, some are doing well, it's not always up to me. But yeah, the work-life balance at right now is a bit like non-existent. I will tell you more about my work in probably future episodes. Uh, basically, I am working as a salesperson at the development company. So we are building houses and uh, apartments and I am taking care of sales and marketing. And this is the time right now where when we just finish the build and we are giving the keys to the new owners of the houses because this is the houses that we've built this time. And this is always the worst part of the entire project. Uh, people are just stressed about this, they have tons and tons of questions, this is so much preparation. Yeah, I will talk about this, about more about this in my future videos probably, but uh, just to let you know that I don't know if I will be able to release any of the videos in the next week because I have so much work, but the week after that we should have something out for you guys. Okay guys, this is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you 
you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, leave me a nice comment down below. Tell me what do you think about this habitat. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, you can do it with the join button down below. This will give you access to very cool perks such as custom giraffe emojis, uh, access to the private discord chat and many many more things. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!